this is the pet on a dog named uh a nose uh Waco. Um pure red boy dog. Pure red boy. Tight bread red boy dog. Um, as y'all can see, you have uh you know two litter mate uh a brother sister breeding. Uh, you can see where they bred. What if you go behind these dogs, you can see where they were already bred tight behind those dogs. You can see the Bailey's Bingo, Bailey's Cherry, Bailey's Bingo, Bailey's Cherry. The Miss Peaches dog. But they bred these two dogs together to make Waco. And then they took it a little bit further. Mr. No, Mr. No took it a little further. He took Waco and he bred Waco back to his mom, Miss Marlo. So he was already a result of a, of a, uh, brother sister breeding and they took him and bred him back to they took Waco and bred him back to his mom that made a dog named Lucky and Lucky is the sire to my female angel my red Brenda female y'all know the one that y'all see all the time to be I do the videos I did a few videos with her and scratch her and scratch back be back there wrestling the playing around or whatever so this, this is this is her this is her dad's uh well this is her granddad's pig. Okay. Now let me show you uh let me show y'all Angel's mom. Okay, that's Angel's mom right there. Uh she was a heavy bred mud bitch. Um, I never saw the dog from, from talking to a couple of the guys that knew this dog and that bred this dog. The way they describe this bitch's mouth, they say this bitch could rip the hinges off the gates of hell. It's how hard a mouth she had. But she's marked up like, like the actual dog. Um, you know, with the white coming up his legs, up her legs, the white chest. Um, they say the actual dog mud had a uh, a white blaze, you know, not not as wide as hers, but you know, coming down the center of his face. Uh, they say they tried to hunt mud when mud was about ten months old, and mud wasn't having it. Mud wasn't no good candidate for her hog hunt. Of Talking to the guy that owned this bitch, he said that she wasn't neither, but he said he had to break her. You know, he had to break her into, you know, going out there and, and, and getting along with the pack. But he, they said the actual mud dog, he wasn't a good candidate for it. You know, he was probably about a 51 uh, chain weight, you know, 51 pound dog on the chain. Uh, condition was probably about 47. But he, they say he wasn't a good candidate. He, he, he couldn't, he ain't have, he, he, he ain't have hog hunting on his mind. He had other stuff on his mind. And when you out there, you know, the dogs got to be able to kind of hunt in a pack when they out there doing this type of work. But this is Angel's mom. And I'm going to show y'all a picture of the uh, animal that killed her. Let me let y'all see the picture real quick. That's the hog, look at that. I actually spoke to that gentleman in the picture. You know, I, I I spoke to him about her, about the actual dog. Uh, and yeah, they both. He told me, you know, yeah, she she he killed her, you know. But the the point I'm trying to make is that she was, in order for this hog to kill her, that means she had to been engaged with this hog. She went and hit this hog. She tried to catch this hog. This hog got to be just from looking at it. He got to be about, I'm going to say, maybe 250, 300. I'm just guessing, you know. And I, I marked dude face out, you know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, I didn't, 
You know, he, he might not want his face shown all over YouTube. He do got a Facebook, but, you know, he probably don't want his face on YouTube. So I just, you know, colored his face out. But, yeah, so these dogs I got, they, the line that I'm running, oh, they'll engage. The actual dog, the actual mud dog, his parents were hog dogs. So, but yeah, this big old hog, this, this big nasty looking hog killed that little old mud dog. Look at that. This little old dog right here. This little, she can't be no more than about 39 pounds, 40 at the most. Tussling with that. It take a lot of working, a bit, tussling and working with this. It take a lot of heart to run up on something like this. It take a lot of heart to run up on something like this. So, but, but yeah, that's the hog. And they say like the bigger the hogs get, uh, the meat don't be as good. You know, I went hog hunting a couple times and we killed the, you know, a small size. She might've been maybe, she 150 maybe. And you know what I'm saying? The dude, like, they blessed me with the ribs. You know what I'm saying? I was, you know, I was happy to get that. You know what I'm saying? Just to, to get out there and, you know, fellowship with the guys and, you know, a bunch of brothers just hog hunting and talking, you know, about the hogs and about the hunt after the hunt was over. And we cleaned the hog and, you know, they gave me the ribs and I came home and cleaned them and, you know, and seasoned them real good, put them in the oven, hour and a half. Hey, they were good eating. But yeah, like I said, when the meat get this, when they get this big, you know, the meat, it, it's not as good. But yeah, let's go back. Look at that little, look at that little girl. Tussling with that. Heart. You got to have heart to do this. It got to be in you to be able to run up on something like this. Now, I ain't no video of it because I don't have any video and they didn't, they, they weren't thinking about doing video, but these stand up guys, that's what they say happened. That's what happened. But before I get out of here, I'm going to leave y'all with this. Pure red boy stuff. Pure red boy. Look at it now. You got Scratch with bread to Miss Marlowe that made a dog named Waco. You can look him up, Nose Waco. Right? And then they turn around and bred Waco back to his mother. And that's what, back to his mother, Miss Marlowe, and that made a dog named Lucky. And Lucky is the sire of my female angel. And of course, she's a she's a mud bitch, a heavy bred mud dog on the bottom, and she has a little bit of this in her on the bottom side as well, uh, coming through a dog named Haystack. So she got a little bit of this stuff on her bottom side crossed in with the mud. But I'm just gonna leave it right here. Just want y'all, you know, just do a little pedigree talk, just show you what I got. You know what I'm saying? What's in my dogs? Let me get out of here. Let me hold on one more time. Let me look at this little old dog running up on Nick. I know what I get. I know what I get. I know what kind of blood I get. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to stop it right there. Let Pig talk for y'all.